Hi again and welcome back to GR101, um, episode 5.2 and uh, this is where we get into the nerdy parts of um, Aperture Priority because Aperture Priority or the aperture in general and the uh, distance from the camera to the subject are uh, going to affect how uh, how deep the depth of field is in your shot. Now, um, the Ricoh GR3, in a minute, you're going to see um, a picture-in-picture picture over here where I'm going to demonstrate using a depth of field simulator uh, the depth of field of this particular lens and sensor in the Ricoh. You can do this for a variety of cameras and sensors, but um, I'm doing a screen recording on a computer back here, so you'll see me... Uh, uh, you'll see my hands go up here in the video and then you'll see the results over in the picture in picture so this i'm going to apologize in advance this particular video won't be very smartphone friendly um it, all these videos are taped uh, are recorded in uh, 4k so you uh, you can get a nice big screen uh, computer screen to watch it on and uh, you'll be able to see what i'm doing more clearly but uh, that's what we're going to be doing and um yeah let's take uh, a look at this camera again now i'm going to switch on the uh, Ricoh gr3 here we're in aperture priority i can change the uh the aperture with the front wheel and let's say i go for f6.3 that's uh that's something i would um highly likely do uh, if i was out doing street photography and snap shooting and uh we'll look at that uh now and how it affects um how that affects uh the depth of field now the depth of field is the area that is in an acceptable focus uh from the area closest to the camera to the distance away from the camera so let's say your camera's here and you've got a subject you're taking a picture of here now around this subject you will have uh, a field of uh, like a perspective from here to say here that is in acceptable focus okay now, if you're snap shooting or if you're using uh, autofocus, it doesn't matter which focusing method. When you focus on this thing here, this subject, this person, a tree, an object, a flower, this will be in critical focus. Okay. But uh, there will be a distance around this in the front and behind it that will be in critical focus. Uh, sorry, in acceptable focus. Okay. Now, this is not as sharp as critical focus here, but it is acceptable focus. And beyond that, it will be out of focus, depending on the aperture and uh, and the, uh, the closeness or the distance from the camera sensor and the lens to the subject. Okay, now you're going to see my hands go up here now, and I'm going to go onto this homepage called uh depth of field simulator dof now you're going to see a picture and picture over here now where you'll be able to see that so i'll include a link down in the description so you can test this out yourself but we're going to load that page and here it is now this page uh we want the basic interface is fine and then we go down here and we are going to select a subject. Landscape is fine. Woman, Paris in the background. All that's fine. But we need to plug in the sensor size here. You can choose a camera model if you want. There are some well-known camera models in here, but we want sensor size. The Ricoh has an APS-C 1.5 crop sensor. So we go in here and we choose that one there. You can see there's a second option for a Canon. They made an APS-C class sensor that was slightly smaller than the standard 1.5 and it had a bigger crop factor. So there we have our, our woman in the image there. Now, we have to put in details about the lens. Now the Ricoh has, uh, it's known for having a 28 millimeter lens, but that's the equivalent. We're not gonna put in the equivalent, we're gonna put in the actual lens details. 
So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type 18.3. That is the actual lens and it says below here now uh, 28 millimeter. Okay. Now, if I put in F6.3 like that, press enter and distance to subject. So let's say I put in uh, 2.5 meters, that's 250 centimeters. Now we're gonna look down at this scale here now. And there we have the critical focus down here is the red line, the cameraman and the camera or the sensor is this red line. And this is the depth of field. Now it's in uh, centimeters and meters, but you can see it's a good deep depth of field here. Uh, from where I'm standing here as the photographer, it's uh, it's got a depth of field kind of 10 meters out. Now, if the uh, if I set the distance, oh, I got the wrong distance there. I'm just going to rectify that. 2.5, there you go, that's more like it. 2.5 meters or 250 centimeters. And we're just, I'm just gonna go in the camera here and check the snap focus distances. And we're gonna go well into snap focus um, on another video, but we're just gonna go there. We're on the first page of the camera, uh, camera icon in the menu, and we're gonna look at snap focus distance. And I'm gonna go into that by pressing the right side of the wheel. And you can see we've got 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3.5, 5, and infinity. So all of these are fixed focus distances that you can set on the camera. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I know exactly where the model is or the subject? Well, you don't, you see. And when you set it at 2.5, that is the critical focus uh, distance there, 2.5. Anything in there, will be as sharp as the recoil lens can make it. But everything within this area, from there, from just uh, what we're talking, from 1.18 meters, or about four feet maybe, all the way out to here, uh, 20 meters behind the subject, uh, everything will be in what is known as acceptable focus. Not quite pinpoint tack sharp focus, but acceptable focus. And beyond this, focus will start to fall off. Okay? Anything closer, uh, something right here, will be uh, out of focus. But from here to here, we'll be in focus. Now, that, that's one of the benefits of the Ricoh GR3 over the GR3X is that you can have the uh, the aperture slightly wider and you'll get this deeper depth of field. Because if we put in the uh, the 26 millimeter of the uh, of the uh, Ricoh GR3X, you can see there's a big difference when shooting at um, uh, when setting the snap focus to two and a half meters. You can see there then we only have this uh, narrow area of uh, our narrow depth of field. It's not very deep. It's uh, two meters behind the subject almost. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a huge difference because of the difference in the lens, okay? So if I wanted to get a really deep uh, depth of field, and get everything in a street shop situation. And um, more importantly, to just be able to uh, kind of snap away in the street, you know, taking some really candid shots, then I would probably have to increase this uh, to uh, F8. And I could also say, okay, I'll set my snap focal distance to uh, 3.5 meters, which will be three, uh, 350 centimeters. And then you get something similar. But you can see um, it's it's not quite got the depth of field that the GR3 has got. And that is why for street photography, 
I uh, I do still prefer the Ricoh GR3. It's a little bit more flexible, and you can um, you can go down to a lower uh, a lower f-stop number and let in a little bit more light um, when you're when you're doing street photography with a snap focal distance. Let's just um, try that again. I'll go back to the 18.3 of the Ricoh GR3. And we'll try going down to um, get that snap distance back to 2.5 meters. And there you can see at, uh, at f5.6, we've still got a relatively deep depth of field, 10 meters, 30 feet. And uh, for our American cousins, we can set the values up here in the depth of field simulator to Imperial. And now you, the lens will still be in millimeters, of course. We just got to change that to back to 18.3 there to get the true focal length and bump that up to f6.3 again. And you can see now we've got it in feet. So at, uh, at uh, a distance of about eight feet, um, 8.2 feet, which is about two and a half meters, we've got a very close uh, shot of this person here and a really deep depth of field, 67 feet behind the camera, and that's at f6.3. So that is something to consider when you're looking at a GR3 and a GR3X, and uh, that's why I prefer the GR3. Um, I actually recently sold a GR3X because I wasn't using it very much right now, and um, I'm in a kind of... Uh, swapping out camera phase i think of it as um not buying camera not not gear acquisition or gas but i'm uh, i'm certainly um renting <laughs> when i buy a camera like this and i buy it used or this one here uh i keep it for maybe a year when i buy used to start with then i don't lose uh, I lose hardly any money when I sell it on after a year. And so let's say if I sold this now for, what, $50 uh, less than what I paid for it because I got a really good model. I got the box. I got the uh, receipt. I got uh, two batteries, an external charger. I got everything you need to have some fun with this camera. Um, but if I sell this on and lose $50, then, hey, I've hired a camera for a year for fifty dollars. That's how I tend to think of it. But anyway, that was the uh, the little nerdy talk, the geek talk about depth of field and snap focusing, and uh, how your aperture priority shooting affects um, affects what's going on. So that's it for now. Uh, that's the end of this. Episode 5 now is complete aperture priority. It does have a big effect on your depth of field. Um, the Ricoh GR3 here has a slight advantage when it comes to uh, when it comes to snap focus. And uh, I think we will, in the next video, start looking at all of the focus methods of this little gem of a camera. Okay, so that's it for now. See you in the next one. It might go, there might be a couple of days in between now, but I'll see you soon. Get out shooting, have some fun. Bye.